welcome to the Mendota Ranch. Um, I was out here horseback today kind of looking through this. This is called the Mendota pasture. So this pasture here is just uh, south of the headquarters and I actually spread spike. I mean, if you've seen me on, on uh, several of my videos, I do a lot of spike spreading. So mainly for like the prairie chicken kind of stuff. But I spread it on me too to kill like an invasive species like a sagebrush. Uh, skunk brush and actually we did kill some some cedars and we killed a lot of um, yucca too so any kind of little woody species there that are invasive species we need to get out of our pasture because number one they they take up room where grass would normally be grown and then also they take up the moisture a lot of moisture that, gra that the grass uh, would need so how I do it and uh, I'll pop up a little video right quick here where I'm in the helicopter and I've got a spreader bucket and so I, I run a 90 foot swath through the pastures and you'll see in certain spots I'll leave like in the draws and there's other little wildlife sensitive areas I like to leave those little strips and I've got a few of those strips right left in here because the wildlife does feed on a little bit but they don't need all of it spike is a really cool deal and how it works it's a little pellet it's like a 3 8 inch pellet the rainwater carries it in and it kills the bush for like three years so i did this last year almost uh, middle of july so just just a tick over a year ago and what you'll see is you'll see everything kind of foliage kind of come off of it and then the next year in the spring it starts to kind of green up again you go oh crap i didn't kill it well then it, then it dies even harder so it, you'll do that for two or three seasons and it's really good it's a really good product it's it's super expensive it costs about 60 bucks an acre to do it for the bang for the buck if you're going to if you're going to spend you know 45 dollars using liquid chemical you might as well just spend the 60 and just get the good chemical the other neat thing i really 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 like about spike is that since it's a pellet you don't have to worry about drifting onto cottonwood trees or or the or the elm trees or the hackberry trees hackberry trees here are really good wildlife supply of berries and stuff so the, so i really like to protect the hackberry trees and the cottonwood trees it doesn't kill mesquite trees which is too bad but um but i stopped right here the reason i stopped here i wanted to show you this so this is a big old really really old sagebrush here that has been around forever and ever and ever and i mean it's a big old gnarly sun gun and you can't believe how much moisture this thing actually carries or pulls out of the ground every year. So, so it's, you know, it's done, done. And like I said, what happened is, it, you know, it killed off and then I could, you could see a little bit of green come back and then, and then it, uh, and then it dies off even harder. And you see some more around here, some more there. But I want, what I really want you to look at too is the grass. Look at the grass. Look at Look at this is big blue big, big blue stem. Look at the grass of this whole pasture. This whole pasture and looks like this. I mean the grass, we, of course we had a great year. And then look look the grass is making seed. You can see all the seed coming off of it. Look at all the seed there. Coming off here. All this seed. One thing that's exciting about killing, when you kill a plant from the roots up instead of from the leaves down the plant dissolves really fast there's something about a uh, woody species that when you kill them from the roots up the plants go away fast so within a year or two these plants will be pretty much dissolved and gone and this grass will be just thick 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 you know i mean it's already super thick it's amazing how much tonnage of grass you can add and and i realize 60 bucks an acre isn't cheap but you know, if you think about it, I probably up my stocking rate by maybe 25 acres to a cow to like say 20 acres to a cow. Maybe not that good, but close. I mean, I've got a lot of grazing here now. And if you think about 60 bucks an acre, you can't go buy an acre of land for 60 bucks. When you see me spreading spike, this is what we're doing. This is what we're after. We're after this. Cause before it was all just sagebrush cause sagebrush was robbing all the nu nutrition out of the ground and all the moisture. And now you see all this grass coming back. And this is this big blue stem is actually a, a very desirable grass. This is what you want to see. You want to see big blue stem in our part of the world, anyways. All right. Well, we we're just I was out here horseback, just trotting around, trying to 
figure out what I'm going to do next with these cows, and I thought I'd kind of show you all this. So, anyways, thanks for uh, subscribing, and thanks for following me. So, we'll see you next week.